Hello and welcome to the final match preview of the season. It is Hibs versus St Johnston in the Cinch Premiership match day 38. 12 o'clock. 12 p.m. I would think. 12, yeah, it's past, yeah, past noon. Past midday, 12 p.m. Sunday the 15th of May. Yes, it is. Sunday the 15th of May. At Easter Road. Be there. I'll be a match vlog. I'll probably Sunday evening, Monday morning kind of time. Anyways, yep. Um, long story short, I've recorded this video already. The audio didn't record. So we're back again to record it now. So, form for Hibs. Obviously lost 3-1 to Dundee, 1-1 draw against Aberdeen, 1-0 defeat to Livingston, 1-0 win against St Mirren, and a 2-1 defeat to Hearts. It's rapid fire here, St Johnston's form. 1-0 win against Aberdeen, 1-1 draw to Livingston, 1-0 defeat to St Mirren. Yes, 1-1 draw with Abbott, with Aberdeen with Dundee, sorry. And a 7 0 defeat to Celtic. Right. Injury. No, head to head between the two teams, last five. Last five. There's two wins for St Johnston, two wins for Hibs, and the draw. The draw is obviously the last game, the last time we met at Easter Road in March, 0 0. Last game with goals was a 2 1 win for Hibs up in Perth in November. Uh, Porteous got thrown away with an own goal in the 40th minute before Nisbet and Murphy got two goals late on to see all the 2 1 win for Hibs. Last goal scoring game at Easter Road was a 1 0 win for Hibs, obviously, the Martin Boyle penalty being the only goal of that game. Okay. <clears throat> right. And in terms of injuries, suspensions, the like. Before we get into the team, to my predicted 11 for Hibs. Uh, Cadden, Doig, Nisbet, McGinnis, Hanlon, Porteous, Dre Wright, Scott Allen, Demi Mitchell. I think that's it with all I think that's it for all of our injuries. Anyways, for St Johnson, as always I can only go off what I can see here. Which is Kane, Bryson, Wotherspoon and Gallagher all out of this game. Now for team predictions. This is most likely what we're gonna see. It's not what I wanna see. <clears throat> I'd love to see Obviously, this is the 11 I think we will see, but I would love an 11 of some of like. I'll, I'll run through another 11 here now. Now then, here now then. I'm gonna go for a 4-4-2. A 4-4-2 formation. Probably with some, with some of the young guys in there as well. The likes of um. Young Laidlaw Blaney. Oh, Oscar McIntyre maybe as well. Anyways, well, I'll just see. I'll just see going through going through the team who, <clears throat> who maybe I'd put in. I'll use some of the lads that we know are injured. And Chris Mueller. When I'm going for this, obviously I'd have Dubrovsky in there. I'd go Clark. I'd go. I don't know if Porter is fit or not. If Porteous is fit, I'd go him and McGregor. I'd go him and McGregor with Josh Stoig. No, with Stevenson. I'll go Stevenson left back. Aye, that's fine. Left mid. I'd go still Jasper. Midfield. I'd probably go Doyle Hayes. Probably Doyle Hayes and Blaney. So I'll just chuck in McGinnis, something to 
for, for that. On the left. No, no. Um, I have go on the left. Jasper on the right. Up front, we'd go Melkerson on the side of Hauger. And I'd also go Connor Young. I'm also really disappointed that, that Josh O'Connor's injured for the season. But sorry, some, something like that is what, I'd, is what I want to see personally. Someone like Jacob Laney or an Oscar McIntyre. Connor Young are still fighting for the league. They need four points in four games, though, so they've pretty much got that. Some of those, some of those young lads, I'd like to see get given a chance it's tomorrow. Obviously, now we're going to score prediction. Um, I don't, I can't, I can't remember what I said in the previous recording session that I did, so that the, the audio didn't record it. I know I said I went, I know, I know that I went for goals, though. I definitely went for goals. <clears throat> um, well, because, I mean, at the, end of, at the end of the day, all I want from this game is a few goals, entertaining a football match, and not a lot of stress. <laughs> Just a good day out, really. Just a good day out. Because there's nothing riding on the match for either team. We could finish as high, we could finish 8th. As high as 8th or as low as 10th. St Johnston know that they're in the playoff place against Inverness. To play against Inverness next week. And well, we've just got to now. Just get this game over and done with. Prepare for next season. And on next season and in the gap between now and next season. Is there any content that you want to see on this channel? Or my other football channel? That I could potentially do. If it's watch longs for other games that are going on over on the other channel. If it's any hips non-match, non -ma any non-hips match day content that you want me to get done. I could put, just leave a comment on this video or give send me a tweet. All that's, Twitter's in the, Twitter should be in the description. If it's not, put a comment in. And ask ask for my ask, f and just tell me that I've not got it in the description, and I'll add it into the description. Anyway, score prediction for this game: three three. Yep, three three. Melkerson. No. If he plays, Melkerson will score. Rocky Bashiri. Ah, you're lucky for sure he's going to get a goal. Hmm. <clears throat> As is Louis Stevenson. Melkerson, Bashiri, and Stevenson with the goals for Hibs. So if they're off the bench or from the start, I don't know. <clears throat> but those will be the three goal scores for Hibs. And as for St. Johnston, I couldn't tell you. I don't know who's been playing, playing for them recently up front. Or anywhere on the pitch for that matter. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.